Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This particular video, I'll introduce three new characters. And just so you know, this is my very first time using my video camera that I introduced in earlier videos, so I really hope that it would help with social recognition. And nothing further ado, if that's the right way to put it, I have to uh, introduce these to you guys now. Hope you enjoy. Heat. Real name, Johnny Heat. Height, 5 feet 6 inches. Weight, 148 pounds. Status, villain turned hero and brother of Freeze. Base, mobile. Intelligence, 2.5 brains. Behavior, somewhat cowardly. He's a literal hothead. Lethality. Highly lethal to most opponents. Weaknesses. His powers are naturally flawed, meaning his fire could be put out with water or no oxygen, for example. Powers. He possesses a variety of fire-based abilities, depending on the different situations. Eyes and hair. Reddish orange. Origin. Johnny Heat is the younger brother of Freeze, who always bossed him around. When he and Freeze got their destined powers, the two were later defeated by the teamwork of Ignitia and Frostbite. When they broke out of prison, he begged Freeze to stop tormenting him every day, which led to Freeze defeating him in battle. Even more tormented, he eventually got rescued by Dentrony and was freed from his sister's grasp. Since then, the cautious Heat would always avoid getting killed by Freeze. Costume. He wears a black suit of futuristic armor. Teams. He now works for Dentrony. Words of Inspiration, Marvel's Pyro. Here's the next character. Immortality. Real name, Timothy. Height, 6 foot 1. Weight, 184 pounds. Status, Villain and Omega Gods member. Base, Ascolympius V2. Intelligence, 5 brains. Behavior, Moody and Willful. He'll always cherish his destined lover. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. His eternal love for Ultrasound. Powers. He possesses the same powers as Eternity. Eyes, whitish blue, hair vivid silver, and flowing. Origin. In the untrusted dimension, the native Eternity is a chaotic version of him known either as Timothy, Timothy or simply Immortality. One day, Timothy learned that the Priantrum non Siculus was married to Zilver instead of Eternity, and he went out in an attempt to destroy Zilver. After a time of fighting, Immortality was defeated by Eternity and was transported back to Asgolympius V2. Since then, Immortality would do all that he can to get his revenge on the heroic Alpha Gods, and most especially Eternity. Costume. He wears the same clothes as Eternity. Teams, Solitary, with the Omega Gods, and other villains. Original Inspiration, Eternity. Here's the last character I'm going to introduce. Joke. Real name, none. Height, 6 feet 2 inches to 588 feet. Weight, 157 pounds to 132,000 tons. Status, anti-hero and rival of Jester. Base, Quirky Dimension, Mobile. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior. Moody, willful, and stubborn. She always hates being teased. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. Low trust level. She hates being underestimated. Powers. She possesses similar powers as Jester, along with an iron will. She also wields her insanity hammer, which is as powerful as Jester's sanity hammer. Eyes deep blue, hair brownish blonde, and short. Origin. In the quirky dimension, the native Jester is a more serious and warlike version of her, known simply as Joke. One day, Jester arrived in the quirky dimension via portal, so she could meet her native counterpart. But when they finally met, Joke got so outraged that they started fighting. Eventually, the fighting stopped when Quirk came by and separated the two, prompting Joke to apologize. Since then, Joke would always try to get her point across with Jester. Costume. She wears a similar outfit as Jester. Team Solitary with Jester or with others. Origin Inspiration, J. 
Jester, and DC's Bizarro. Well, I hope those characters are worth it for you guys, and I hope that this video would work out properly in terms of the transmission, despite the new stuff that's enforced. And I just barely completed my last um, work day for be, because, and just to put you in context, two days from now I'm going to go camping with my dad for our shared birthday, because on the 26th he would be in Washington D.C. for a business trip. And sometime next month, I will be visiting San Diego through my first flight. The last time I've ever been on an airplane was when I was a toddler, going to Hawaii. And I just hope it's all worth it and such. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below and share if you want. It's your choice. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the summer and such. And I hope that I end up with a decent birthday celebration alongside my dad. And I hope things work out for everyone, and until next time, in transmission.